Wait, I could tornado that goblin giant to my king tower. Yeah, I'm gonna do that for sure. Just tornado here, and if this activates the king, yes! Okay, nice. Let's go. Yo, what's up, guys? In today's video, I'm gonna be playing the top five best decks in the game recommended by Muhammad Light. So, if you guys enjoy the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. With the first deck here, I am going to be playing Hog Earthquake with the Firecracker and the Tesla. This deck is extremely good in the meta right now, even thought so by Muhammad Light. Hog Firecracker is just really hard to counter right now. The only decks that really counter it is Splash Shard. I feel like every other deck is very winnable, if not a good matchup. Like, even Lava Hound is having trouble countering it, and Royal Recruits. I'm in the first match here. I am against Lava Hound, actually. Speak of the Devil. Um... There is an E-Giant Balloon deck that's going around as well, which will be featured in the video as well. Um, it's definitely a top 5 deck right now, but even that gets countered by Hog EQ. And it sounds crazy that an E-Giant Balloon deck gets countered by Hog EQ, but it's pretty true. They can't really do anything. But I'm just going to go for my Knight here at the bridge, because I know he doesn't have any barbs in hand. I can just Earthquake on the Tombstone. And in this matchup, you want to be aggressive as aggressive as you can in single elixir and then in double you want to spam down your firecrackers on defense even in single you want to spam firecrackers but even more so in double i'll go for the hog rider here just to pull back the skelly drags and force out his evil barbs forcing out the evil barbs will be super good for me because he won't really have any way to defend my hog rider later in the game i'm not going to firecracker here because i know he'll just go for a lot of in the back if i waste my firecracker it would be extremely bad for me so i'll just go for my evil knight here and wait for him to have to defend this. Okay, he goes for the lob in the back. I'm fine with that because he still has to defend my Evo Knight or that will take the entire tower. I can just Firecracker in the back here. This Firecracker will get a ton of value. Yeah, I'll just Firecracker now. He Mega Minions. Okay, I'm just going to go for my Hog Rider. Oh wait, that was an awful Fireball. I'm going to Hog Rider Skeletons to Bridge. He has no Elixir. I'm going to Tesla. He's going to Skelly Drags as soon as he can because he has no Barbs. Yep, that Tesla should take care of the entire Lava and the Skelly Drags too. I'll just go for my knight here to tank for everything to make sure the Tesla cleans everything up. This Tesla is going to get so much value. <laughs> I'll just Ice Spirit and Firecracker as well. Then I won't go for my Hog Rider. I'll just keep spamming Firecrackers down because I have a way faster cycle than him. He can't really kill it that well. I'll, I'll go Skellies here and then I'll go for my Hog Rider. I'll have my Log ready because I know he's going to want a Tombstone. Yep, I'll Log on the Tombstone. That won't get a hit on the tower, but it did force out the Mega Minion, which is great. I'll go for the extra firecracker here, and then I'll go for my knight out on the right, and since he lava, I'll go for my hog rider skellies on the left, because obviously I'm not going to leave that firecracker unsupported. That hog's going to get a, a ton of damage there on the left. I think that might even be nearly tower. He had to waste skelly drags, I can just go for a second firecracker here. He actually can't do anything against the firecracker. That's why Lava Hound's not even a bad matchup for Hoggy Q, because they just can't kill firecracker. I'll just hog the bridge here, and he has nothing. I'll just earthquake. Okay, never mind, I'll log for the tombstone, and then I can just cycle my Earthquake, and that's GG. He can't stop that Hog Rider from getting a hit. A very nice win there. I'll see you guys with the next deck. And the next deck I'm going to be playing here is Minor Wall Breaker's Poison. This deck is so good in the meta right now. Almost every top player who uses Quick Cycle decks is playing this deck right now. It's very hard to counter as well. Same with the Hog EQ deck. One thing you'll notice in this video is that all the best decks are the hardest ones to counter, and they all have a broken evolution in them. They all feature either the Knight or the Royal Recruits. The Knight and Royal Recruits are completely dominating all other Evos right now. It's not even close. I'm just going to go for my Knight here on the right. And then, since he did the Baby Dragon, I want Wall Breakers. A Wall Breakers on top of the Ice Wizard here. The Wall Breakers will defend the Ice Wizard and also force out a response from him as well. Because that one will get a hit. Yup, exactly. I'll go for the Miner here on top of the Baby Dragon, and then I can go for my Bats quickly, because then... He'll have to defend my bats. I'll Spear Gobs too to force out his NATO so he doesn't activate the king. Yeah, I didn't want him to activate king off the miner and then just go Ice Wizard on top of the bats. In this matchup, you don't want to give them a king tower activation for as long as possible. When the king's up, it's very hard to break through. I'll go for my knight in the back here. He goes for his knight as well. I'll just wall breakers here. I like to wall breakers like this because it's really hard to activate the king tower versus it. You still can, but it's just much harder and people often just don't even try. I could go for my minor bats here. I want bats on the left, though. All bats on the right. Okay, he ice wizards and then baby drags. Wait, he wasted baby dragon and ice wizard. He doesn't have any good counters for bats if I force out his NATO somehow. I'm going to try to force out his NATO and then punish him with bats. Well, spear gobs the back here. Wait, that graveyard was awful. Wait, he just lost. I'm going to evo knight the bridge. I'm going to wall breakers here. Wait, what was that NATO? I'm going to log and then I can bats on the graveyard. And how does he defend this evo knight bats? I don't think he can defend, right? I'm just going to go for my Miner here so he can't Ice Wizard on top of my Bats. 
What does he do? He lost. Okay, he just Ice Wizard's right on top, but now the Ice Wizard's dead. Now I can go for my Knight, Wall Breaker's on the right. He has to Tombstone last second, so I'm going to Prediction Log his Tombstone. Perfect! Okay, nice. I'm just going to let this Knight go. Then I can Bats on top of the left. He had to waste his NATO. Perfect. I can go for my Miner plus Spear Goblins. Actually, I'm going to Spear Gobs up for the Knight. Oh, bad. Okay, I'm going to Wall Breakers here on the left. I will take one or two Knight hits, but... Okay, only one. It's not the end of the world, and I got a ton of damage there on the right. With this damage, I should win. That's why I kind of said this game. I didn't think I'd take the whole tower, but... I mean, I am in a really good spot, and I shouldn't lose from here. Oh, Miner Bats Knight. This will get a pretty good chunk of damage, too. Oh, terrible Barbell. Oh, Spear Gobs on the left, and then go for my Wall Breakers on the right, because the Wall Breakers are still, like... I mean, the Bats are still going in. Wait, maybe one hit? Nice! Let's go! amazing shot right there i'll just go for my evil knight on top of the baby dragon and then i can go for my bats i'll just bats like right here so the my, i mean my knight will go in front i'll go for my miner and then i'll poison on the ice wizard of course too a wall breakers on the left that that's the thing in this matchup you need to keep pressuring both sides if you only go in one lane it's too easy to defend i'll just split my spear gobs in the back i like to split spear gobs sometimes when i don't have like a really good play because split spear gobs you don't really get any spell value on them and also i'm pressuring him on both sides by doing that I'll just cycle the bomb tower here. The bomb tower will take care of the baby drag and the ice wizard. I'll just go for my bats here to take care of the ice wizard. I'll log and then miner here to pull the knight backwards. And then I'll just go for my wall breaker since he did waste his barb barrel. Oh, bad NATO. He might have to tombstone now as well. I think one can slip through, maybe. Nah, it didn't. He did waste his baby dragon though, which is perfect. I'll just knight here and then I'll poison. I'll go for my bats too, just to kill the baby dragon quicker. I'll miner because he might NATO on the bats. He just does the ice wizard. Okay. That's fine. That Graveyard's not getting much damage. All Wallbreakers pull away the Knight, and then I can just Spear Gobs for the Ice Wizard. And that will be GG. Poison Log should take care of the tower. Just gonna go for my... Okay, he goes for the Baby Dragon. I'm just gonna play it safe. I'll Bomb Tower here to block the Baby Dragon, because then my Spear Gobs will take care of it, and then I'll just Miner on the right. Then I'll just go for my Bats on top, because he needs to defend the Miner, and then I'll go for my Spear Gobs as well in case he wants to Poison or NATO, and then I can just Poison to finish off his tower. Very nice win there. That matchup actually isn't very good for me. I'd say it's pretty close to equal, but that guy got completely wrecked. <laughs> Let's go. I'm in the next match here against Safe. The next deck I'm going to be playing here is Splash Yard. Splash Yard is super good in the meta. It finished number one in the world last season, and it's number one in the world currently by Starlight, the player who finished number one in the world in the last season. It's like undeniable how broken Splash Yard is right now. I do think it needs a pretty big nerf. I'll go for my Knight, and then I'm just going to go for my Ice Wizard here on top of the Recruits. I'm going to take a lot of damage here. I can't really defend against him in single elixir. Yeah, he goes for the goblin giant on the left. This is a good matchup for me, but I didn't really have the greatest starting hand. It took me a long time to get to my baby dragon. I'll nato here, but I am going to take a ton of damage. Yeah, not really the greatest situation right now, but I can definitely come back by just playing perfect defense. So that's the thing with splash shard. Against decks like these, Like it looks like I'm in a bad spot, but... I know that if I play perfect defense, I'll still win just by bringing up a nice counter push with the Evo Knight, and it's just going to be easy. Well, not easy, but I can obviously come back, and I don't think I'm out of it at all yet, but definitely wasn't the start that I was trying to have. But I think Splash Art has been extremely good in the meta for a while now. I'll just go for my Knight Graveyard the bridge here. I know he's going to block it with the Mini Pekka, but the Graveyard, he doesn't have a really a good cycle to counter it. Like, he doesn't have his Goblins in hand or anything like that. Yeah, he goes for the Arrows, but he's going to have to play, like, an, his Goblins or Rage. Yeah, he goes for the goblins. Just because those tombstone skellies were stacking up, that's kind of what I was planning on right there. I'll barbell at the bridge here with these skellies as well, because he's going to have to rage, or else those barbell skellies will get a ton of damage. Yeah, nice. Forcing up the rage is great. I know he's just going to pump up again. If I could activate my king tower, this would be much easier. Activated king tower in this matchup is broken, because everything's always in the middle with the tombstone. I'm just going to poison there on the left. He might just go evil recruits in the back. There's nothing I can really do to punish that. I mean, I don't think anyone can ever punish evil recruits in the back. Evil recruits are by far the best card in the game. I'll just set up my tombstone here, and then I'll ice wizard in the back. The nice thing I have going for me is that baby dragon and ice wizard are pretty much unkillable. I'll baby dragon in the back here. Baby dragon gets a ton of value. I'll evil knight here as well. I can go for my barbell to help protect the mini P.E.K.K.A. a bit, and then I can go for my second tombstone. I'll ice wizard again as well. Okay, I think I'm going to go for my Tornado here. I want to Tornado everything into the Baby Dragon Splash and try to kill all the Skelly Drags and Recruits. Perfect. It would have been nice if my Ice Wizard survived, but it's all good. He recruits in the back again, but Evil Recruits are way better than the regular Recruits. Like, it's not even close. I don't feel threatened by the regular ones at all. I'll just Baby Drag the back again. If I defend, like, one more time, like, if I defend the next Evos, I should be good. I'll go for my Barb Barrel, and then I'll Ice Wizard onto the side. I think I'll Knight here to keep it alive as well. 
That tombstone on the right is going in, just taking care of that mini P.E.K.K.A. Wait, I could tornado that goblin giant to my king tower. Yeah, I'm going to do that for sure. Just tornado here, and if this activates the king... Yes! Okay, nice. Let's go. With the king tower activation, it should be pretty good for me now. All I need to do is defend this push, but I'm not down any elixir at all. And then I can just baby drag in here. With the king up, I should win. Awful pump as well. I don't know why he played that pump. I can get a huge counter push here. Well, not even counter push, just a huge push. I'll barbell here on the left, and then I'll tornado the skelly drags to make sure they die. I'll go evil knight the bridge. My baby drag's gonna live. Wait, I'm not gonna graveyard. He's gonna block bridge. I'll baby drag again. Nice. And now I can graveyard because the mini pack got decimated. I'll graveyard here with these two baby dragons, an evil knight and an ice wizard. I'll barbell too. I'll nato this back. Wait, he's dead. <laughs> Wait, he's actually just dead. Why did he play his pump? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I'm just going to give him the well played. <laughs> Let's go. What a nice win right there. I knew that once I got the king tower up, and I just don't know why he pumped. He should have just kept pushing, but I'll take it. I'll see you guys with the next deck. I'm in the next match here against Samuel Basoto. The next deck I'm going to be playing is E-Giant Balloon. This deck is super good in the meta right now. I feel like it has a lot of outplay potential and your opponents have to play nearly perfect to beat it. People have a hard time defending the E-Giant Balloon combo, especially when you have the Evo Knight paired in there too. E-Giant Balloon is just such like a weird combo and it just like, it looks so dumb, but it's actually pretty good. I'll NATO here on the Minor Bats and then I can Phoenix on the Spear Gobs as well. This matchup is actually pretty difficult, I think. Whenever I play Minor Wall Breakers, I always beat E-Giant Balloon. Because there's a nice bats placement that you can use to push the balloon to their bomb tower. A bomber here on top of the wall breakers. The weird thing about this bomber placement is that it does miss the wall breaker the first time. I don't actually know why, but it doesn't matter because it shoots twice and it kills it. I just don't know why. Okay, he might go in here. All goblins in the back because he might minor. Okay, he's not going to minor. I think I'm going to have to do my defensive E-Giant here. I don't really want a fireball. At least the E-Giant will force out a bomb tower. Could even force out maybe some spear goblins too. If he wants to cycle back to them. Okay, he goes for the wall breakers on the right. I'm going to activate my king tower here. Just tornado like this and you activate your king tower. Activating your king tower versus deck is so important. Because it kind of either limits their minor placement or it makes it much easier for you to get damage. Okay, I have to phoenix here to make it blow up the bats and the spear gobs. And then I can knight here for his knight. Yeah, very nice. I kind of just used the phoenix as like a spell right there. That's the thing I like about the phoenix. The phoenix is so versatile. Like the, the egg blow up there kind of saved me. It's kind of unique that a card dying can actually help you. <laughs> I'll have my bomber ready in case he wants to go for the minor wall breakers. I like the bomber on the minor wall breakers instead of doing my goblins because they always do the pre-log with it. Yeah, I'll goblins here to defend the minor and then I'll bomber on the wall breakers. Nice. I can just go for my E-Giant the back here. My next knight will be Evo and he doesn't have Evo Knight even close. So this would be pretty good for me. I'll just set up my Phoenix on defense. Phoenix will defend everything on the left side, and I should be able to get some loon damage here. I don't think I'll get a ton, but I should be able to at least get a bit, because he's going to poison on defense. I'll Evo Knight the left, and then I'll go Goblins for the Wall Breakers, and then I'll go for my Balloon on the right. Yeah, he poisons the left, and then I can just Fireball on top of the Bomb Tower. I know he's going to get a second Bomb Tower, but it's all good, I feel like. Yeah, he goes for the Bomb Tower. I'm not going to NATO right away. I'm just going to Bomber the Bridge because I need to NATO on his bats. I'll wait last second to NATO. I'll NATO now because, yeah, even though he's going to bats, he can't bats in time. So I'm still going to get one Loon hit, which is perfect. Oh, and a Bomber swipe. Nice. Let's go. I'm just going to go for my Knight in the back. I'll go for my Phoenix here on the left. I, sh I should be Knighting the back on the left, though, because if he wants to Miner, it limits the spots that he can Miner. I'll E-Giant the back on the left, though. E-Giant the back on the left is fine. I'd rather do it like this so he can't spam me with, like, night bats. I'll go for my goblins here on top of the miner, and then I'll bomber on top of the wall breakers. Bomber will defend the wall breakers. Wait, wait, wait. Please, 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 please. What? Dude, okay. That's a little bit annoying, but it's okay. I'll go for my knight in the back here, and then I can balloon behind this. I think I won't, though. I won't. I'll just phoenix on the knight here. I just want to e-giant the back again, but I want to e-giant on the left corner. Okay, I think I need the NATO here on the wall breakers. Actually, I'll let them go. I'll let them go. It's fine. Only one hit, and I'm up a ton of elixir. I'm going to balloon in the back here. I want to cycle to a second E giant and a second balloon. I should be able to break through with this. Okay, I'll bomber here on top of the knight. He's going to do a high bomb tower. I'll go for my Evo knight on the right, and then I'll go for my Phoenix, I think. I'll goblins just, and then I can go for my E giant. I don't really know what to do. I'm going to go for my loon here. I feel like loon here should be pretty deadly. I'll loon like this, though. I like to loon like that so they can't do, like, the weird bomb tower placements to pull it easy. I'll bomber here on the spear gobs. I can't take any damage, really. 
All NATO. Oh, nice. Wait, I'm gonna have my fireball ready for the spirits. Okay, I'll fireball the spear goblins. Nice. Wait, one balloon hit. One. Nice. Two. Oh, okay, it's fine. I'll knight the bridge to block because he's gonna wall breakers. Yep, and then I can phoenix on the wall breakers. Perfect. I'll bomb right here as well. I can't take any damage right now. Nice. Okay. I can just go for my E-Giant here on top of the Knight so he can't do anything to keep pressuring me. And then I think I want a Fireball Cycle. I, I, I need the Fireball Cycle because Minor Poison will take me out. I'm not going to be able to break through anymore with E-Giants or Loons. So I'm just going to Knight and then Phoenix on the Wall Breakers and then all Goblins on the Miner just to try to deny some of the chip. I need two more Fireballs. I'll go for the Bomber and then I can Fireball on the Tower again. Just Knight the Bridge here. And there's just no way for him to go in because I, I have my Bomber blocking and the Evo Knight. Then I have my Nate already. I'll just Phoenix on top of the Miner. I'll Cycle my Goblins, I guess. Eh. I'll just wait. Goblins, NATO, and then Fireball. GG. Very nice win there. That matchup is much harder than it looks. Like on paper, you'd think I have a hard counter, but I really feel like Minor Wallbreakers has matchup. But I'll see you guys with the next deck. I'm in the next match here against Lord Vader. The last deck I'm going to be using is the most no skill deck in the entire game. I obviously had to save the most no skill deck for last. I'm playing Goblin Giant Recruits with the Pump. I'll mini Pekka here for the Lumberjack. I actually don't think I could think of a more no-skill deck than this. This deck is even more no-skill than E-Giant somehow. E-Giant, E-Golem, Lava, Golem, Giant Graveyard, you name it. I think this might be the most no-skill deck of all time. It's actually up there for sure. I'll Skelly Drags here on the healer, okay. I can just arrows on those as well. I don't know what those barbs are. Those barbs are just awful. I'll just arrows here. All you do with this deck is step one. Either play your pump or recruits, whichever one is in your cycle first. In this case, I had my pump, so now I'm going to go for my recruits. Playing the recruits is step number two. To split my recruits in the back, I do this for the purpose of getting to my evos, but also of the purpose of that recruits are still really hard to defend regardless of their evo or not. And step number three is to go everything in one lane. Depending on which lane he prioritizes, you just go all in on the other one. So I'm going to go Goblin Giant Mini Pekka on the left because of the right side E-Drag. And yeah, this is going to be tower down on the left. He has no way to save this tower. <laughs> Step number three always works out very well. Step number four, you place your Elixir Collector again because you're up a tower and there's not really anything that, that they can do from this point. So yeah, I'm just going to play my Elixir Collector here. And step number five is to cycle back to your evil recruits if you haven't already. So in this case, I'm just going to go for my goblins to back and then evil recruits to bridge. I don't care what he does. That's what I'm going to do. Th there's nothing he can do about it because this deck's broken. I'll split my goblins and then I can go for my evil recruits at the bridge. And now, since I've completed step number five, I am going to just end the game here with step number six and go for the goblin giant mini P.E.K.K.A. at the bridge. It's just a click one, two, three system there. If he didn't defend the right he loses his golem and now since he didn't want to lose the golem he's going to lose his king tower so ggs thank you guys for watching like and subscribe if you enjoyed and i will see you guys in the next video <laughs> bye